Yo, you guys, this is Blacklist of the Abyss, and you're watching my review for Fairy Tale Chapter 362. Now, <laughs> this chapter. It was pretty stupid. Not gonna lie. This chapter was stupid. Alright, it comes in three parts Fairy Tale, Naruto, and One Piece, okay? The first part is the fairy tale part. Natsu fights bad guy, Natsu wins. Bad guy looks pathetic while losing. Jackal transforms into an actual jackal, still gets his butt kicked. Okay, this is ridiculous. Okay. He's doing it again. He always starts his arcs off well, Hiromashima. Then they always go down the same path. <laughs> I'm tired of this. <laughs> I thought this arc would be different. I don't know why I did that. I convinced myself that maybe, just maybe, this arc would be different. It's not looking too good so far, you guys. Okay? I thought that the way this would go... I thought this would go in a way similar to Tempesta, you know? Where he, he loses, but like... You can't really call it a victory for Fairy Tale either, because Laxus is done, Evergreen is done, Bixelo is done, Freed is done. They won't be up for weeks. Oh, well, th then again, they're in Fairy Tale, so anyone with a Fairy Tale mark on their body is gonna, you know, suddenly heal from, and no matter no matter what happens to them, you know, unless it's Future Lucy. <laughs> but um, no, no, actually, you know, Future Lucy did heal. Never mind. Never mind. She came back from the freaking dead. But, uh, <laughs> see you, man. I, th I thought it would end in a way where you can't exactly call it a victory. Like, I thought, I thought Jack would pull something off where, like, even though it looks like he's going to lose, he does do something that injures Natsu, Lucy, and Wendy to the point where they can't really consider it a win. Then he leaves and goes back to, like, Hyoka, uh, Kyoka and the rest of them. But, um, that didn't happen. See, that did not happen at all. This was just typical fairy tale stuff. And, and, and it was stupid. And that's just the fairy tale part, okay? Then there's the Naruto part, where Mr. Datara over here turns himself into a bomb and blows up. <laughs> then we got the One Piece part, where Mr. Pell, I, I, sir... He goes flying up with freaking Jackal, blows up, and somehow he's still fine at the end. <laughs> and just like with One Piece, it's completely unexplained. And he, to this day, we still don't know how Pell survived. And we have no clue how Happy survived. You can try and think of a way, but it's probably not going to make any sense. Because this situation doesn't make sense. Happy has no way of surviving an explosion of that magnitude. And it's clear he didn't fly away before he exploded. Or else the other or else all the other guys have been looking like <gasps> You know, you know, Shaw had that tear in her eye, you know. So if they had saw him fly away, then that wouldn't have happened. He couldn't have gone in the like let's say they're right here and he's directly above them. That way the explosion blocked out their view. He couldn't have done that because he was hold he was actually holding Jackal like this. So and Jackal was the center. So he couldn't have dropped Jackal and then flew up here by the time he exploded. Well then I guess it could have. But yeah, I guess there I guess that uh, You would have had to have perfectly predicted when the explosion was gonna happen though. It doesn't make sense. You know, the point is that it's it's a stupid chapter, okay? The fairy tale part, the Naruto part, the One Piece part, they're all stupid. This chapter is stupid. Right? That, that, that's, that's the gist of what I'm trying to say. The chapter's stupid, okay? I'll try and convince myself that there's still hope for this arc and that it won't go down the same road the past few have, but... I don't know. Minerva's gonna get treated like crap, just like she was before. Kilka's gonna turn out just like Old Tear and Minerva and Kagura and all the other girls who look like they're really legit in reality. 
it just disappoint, you know. Silver, he's just gonna he's gonna flop. You know, I, I, I just know it. I'm gonna try and hold out some hope, but you know, I'll as for this chapter, I'll give it. I don't even have a ranking for stupid. Uh, I guess I'll give it a 3.5 out of 10. It was bad, real bad, <laughs> real real bad. All right, this this was not a good chapter at all. So. Yeah, I'll give it, I won't go as far as saying it's an awful chapter because it's not like the stuff that happened in the chapter negatively impacted the plot. I mean, it does negatively impact the plot, but not to a point where you can say this is awful. You know, it's it's bad. It's certainly bad to eliminate. Not well, we don't know if Jackal's actually dead yet because this is fairy tale after all. You know. So, we don't know if he's actually dead yet, but he might go back to Kyoka, probably get punished in some way, shape, or form, and come back later, who knows, like, um, Flair Corona did. Then again, she didn't lose. But, you know, I, it's, it's certainly a bad chapter, but it's not, that's the point, it's not like, Talking to Jutsu and Naruto bad. <laughs> that, that, that's 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 what I think of when I think of awful. Okay, talking to Jutsu bad. When I think of something that just completely sucks, which would be like a two out of ten, it would be something like in Toriko, where this was a while back, where um right before Toriko it was Right before Toriko's fight with Starjin got serious and Komatsu showed up. And Toriko somehow revived at the side of Komatsu and to he got all shiny and stuff. He was like, oh, Komatsu, your tears give me strength. You know, that that's, uh, that, that, that's, that's an example of something that sucks, okay? Something that's awful, talking to Jutsu and Naruto. Okay, um, another thing that sucked. It was this chapter of One Piece a long time ago, like... Over a year ago, maybe, or maybe it was, maybe it was earlier this year. It was the end of Punk Hazard, and it, it was this one chapter where a bun. It was the ch it was the chapter where Law saved the kids, pretty much. That chapter literally negated every good thing about the arc. So that's that's a, that would be a that chapter sucked. But that you, you now you get it though, like where how I think a chapter sucks, how I think a chapter is awful, and this chapter. Is almost there, but not quite. So I'm giving it a 3.5 out of 10. But uh, yeah, that's it for this review. Fairy tale, man. <laughs> Don't go down this road here, Omashima. Do not do it. Don't do it, alright? Don't do it. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.